Right, the first thing that we're going to do here to s is just talk about a few terms. This, oh god, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. Um, this network is representing towns linked by roads, and these are the distances between towns. Now, what we're trying to imagine is that we're a street cleaner or a postman, whatever you want to think of it, and we're going to start at A and finish at A, and we've got to do it in the shortest route. We've got to go along each road. Now, what we'll see is that it's impossible. This is the fastest route. You have to retrace the steps here. Now, B caused a problem. Back to D and up to A. So it's possible to do it, but it's not... It's not possible to do it without retracing your steps. So why is that the case? Well, let's have a look at the valences. The valency of A is the number of lines coming out of A. In this case, for A, it's 2. The valency of B is 3, because there's 3 lines coming out of B. For C, it's 2. And for D, it's 3. Now, we're going to see that odd valences, that's B and D, are very important. Let's see why. Every time you come out of a vertex, watch what happens as we go out into B and then out of B again. So I'll say that again. Watch what happens as we go into B and then out of B again. The valency has gone down by 2 once we've used these two. We don't want to use them again, so we now consider the valency of B to be 1. Having a valency of 1 is a big problem because if you go in, you can't come out again without going back over your route. So that's a big problem. The other vertex with a valency of 3 is D. So it's a big problem having odd valences. Again, coming into D and then out of D, we've still got one route to go along. And we can't, no matter how we go, let's say we've gone round and we're coming back into D this way, we can't go out of D without retracing one of the three routes we've already used. Now, if we know that two vertices have an odd valency, B and D, we know that we're going to have to make them even. We're going to have to travel along this road twice, there and then back again. That's equivalent to adding an extra edge, like this one. That's meant to be a nice, neat curve. But that's now an extra edge. So now our route that we do can be done without, without um, what's it doing? without uh, going over a route more than once, like this, because we've now got two routes linking B to D. That should have gone over there. OK, so that's now possible. And that's actually the fastest possible way of doing it. But there are other ways, and it's not necessarily obvious uh, that that is, unless we look at the numbers. So I'll say what I'm talking about. If we added an extra route back from B to C there, that would add another 9 to our graph. To our total route uh, and if we repeated C to B that would add another 12 so to, in total we've added another 21 here now 21 is not as good as the 15 we added by retracing this route but this makes it possible by doing it uh, this makes it possible by do, doing it a different way here watch what's happening I'm not going to repeat this line I'm on now Oops, that wasn't meant to happen uh, Sorry, I'll have to do that again, the mouse slipped. I'm not going to... Right, so we go along there, up there, not really thinking about which route I'm taking. Right, go down there. Now, I'm not going to repeat that line we've just done, like we did before. We don't need to. Instead, we repeat two other lines. And we can do that without taking our pen off the paper. Now, why does that work? Well, let's have a look at the valences once we've added these red ones. The valency of B is now 4, even. That's good. By adding this root into B or out of B, whichever way you're looking at it, we've made B an even node or an even vertex. The same can be said for D. Now, if we linked B and D up directly using this this uh, vert this arc here, this line here, then they'd still be four. It wouldn't. It would, they'd still be even. So, does it make a difference if we go via C? Well, no, because C is still even. It started off being two. Now, if we've gone via C, it's 4. So it's it's gone from being even to being even again. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to make all the odd nodes even without changing any of the evens into odds. 
Let's have a look at one particular problem called the handshake theorem. It's not a problem, it's a theorem. One particular idea called the handshake theorem. Let's say that we're going to add extra roots to this. I'm writing what the valences are again. So the valences are 2, 3, 2 and 3. Now if I add another root, let's say from A to C, but what happens to the valences? A has gone up by 1 and C has gone up by 1. That's the important thing called the handshake theorem, that every arc you add, every line you add, adds 1 to the valency of the place you start at, because it's got a beginning, and 1 to the place where you finish at, because it's got an end. And any line will have a beginning and an end. This means that the hand, what the handshake theorem is telling us is that every new edge adds 1 to a valency at the beginning and 1 to the valency at the end. In other words, if you add the total valency, it adds a total of 2, 1 here and 1 here. If we added all the numbers up, it would add 2 to the actual total. What does this mean? Well, this means that if every new line that we add adds 2 to the total valency, 1 at the beginning of the line, 1 at the end, or 1 at either end, whatever you're thinking, then every line must add 2. And this means that the total valency, here 2, add 3, add 2, add 3, so 10, must always be even. You can't have an odd total valency because each line has two endpoints. This line here is adding 1 to this and 1 to this, so it adds 2, and each line ca counts 2 towards the total valency. There can't be a line which only counts 1 towards the total valency, and so the total valency must always be even. It must always be a multiple of 2. Why is that important? Well, it's just an idea. The important thing is that we can't have an odd number of odd vertices. Here, 3 is an odd number, 3 is an odd number. There are 2 odd vertices. We can't have 3 odd vertices because then the total would be odd. The only way we can make the total of these numbers even is if there's an even number of odds. Here there are two odds. So we can have two odds like we see here. We can have four odds like we see here. Now they're all three. Or we could have zero odds like we see here. Now you could in theory have six odds but you're not going to see that at A-level. At A-level you'll have zero odds, like here, two odds, like here, or four odds, like here. Six odds just makes what's coming a little bit more complicated.